Next up, at UFC Louisville, we have the featured prelim of the evening. We have Tiago Moises taking on Ludovic Klein. This is an interesting sort of changing of the guard kind of fight. Tiago Moises wasn't necessarily the gatekeeper for the division, but he's starting to go that route. He's a tried and true veteran that has had fights with some of the all-timers in the division, but he hasn't quite gotten there just yet. And we have Ludovic Klein working his way up the ladder. And I'm not going to say this is his first real test, but this is a this is a real test. And he's steadily working his way up, and it should be a very interesting fight. We got Tiago Moises at 18 and 7 in his career. 3 and 2 in his last five. He's coming off that TKO win over Mitch Ramirez. He's taking on Ludovic Klein, 21-4 and four in his career, 4-0-1 oh, in his last five. He's coming off that win over A.J. Cunningham. Both these guys coming off very impressive wins, but frankly, they both were tremendous favorites fighting guys that they should have absolutely smoked, and they did smoke them. Tiago Moises is a grappler at heart. He's a very slick grappler, does a really good job staying dangerous while being controlled. And he's young. He's only 29 years old or 30 years old, but you would think he's much older than that if you go through his resume and you see all the experience he's had. He does have a little bit of an old school fighting style. He is grappler first, and his grappling is older, if that makes any sense. If you've been watching USC for a very long time, there's sort of a change in how people grapple in fights. There's sort of an evolution of what techniques fighters are using and what techniques they're not using. Tiago Moises... Still under that old guard a little bit, but he is evolving. His hands are very good. He's got technical striking. He doesn't really have that one-punch knockout power, but he's got nice, clean, solid technique in the striking department. And then, of course, very good grappling if he can get it to the ground. Taking on Ludovic Klein. Ludovic Klein's a very good striker. He's smooth. He's fast. He's accurate. Does a really nice job keeping those fights technical. He'll hide kicks behind his jab. He never throws anything lazy. He's never out of position. He keeps things tight and clean. And then he will work in wrestling if he's losing those striking exchanges. Ludovic Klein is very good. I believe in Ludovic Klein. I think Ludovic Klein wins this fight. I have a bet on Ludovic Klein at minus 125. And if I'm being frank with you all, I think although Tiago Moises is very young, I don't think he's evolving as quickly as the sport is. And while I do tend to favor wrestlers and grapplers, I think the sport is going the other direction, favoring strikers. First of all, judges are favoring strikers. They're sort of dismissing meaningless takedowns and control time. And second of all, all of these strikers are getting some very, very good, phenomenal takedown defense, especially against the cage. Tiago Moises is not going to outstrike Ludovic Klein. I doubt he turns into a Namaga Madoff. So I think Ludovic Klein sort of does what he does, picks apart Tiago Moises, and gets it done. It probably is a decision, but Ludovic Klein is certainly the pick. I have a bet on him at minus 125, and I'm surprised that these odds are staying where they're at. I did expect that to take off a little bit. What do you think, Jakey Bumbalotz? You said you you did bet on uh, on Ludovic? Minus 125. Half a unit. Well, uh, that's going to be a great day when that hits, ain't it? Going to be excited about that? It'll be a great day to be alive on it. You know? I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. What song no, I'm just saying it's going to be a great day to be alive. You know, the sun's still sure. shining when I close my eyes. <laughs> There's hard times in the neighborhood, but why can't every day just be this good? It's a Never great heard it. Day to be alive. <laughs> Who was Never the first person ever, uh, to your memory, Angelo, that believed in Ludovic Klein? Do you remember? No, I don't. His mother? You don't, uh, Mrs. Klein? Uh, Mrs. Claus, you said? Klein. Well, you know, I don't want to take credit for all the success he's had in his career, but I'm going to do it right <laughs> now because <laughs> Ludovic Klein, if you guys did not know, was the greatest lock of the week of all time. You want to talk about this? You want to talk about that? Ludovic Klein was a plus three, seven, five dog to Mason Jones. I made him my lock of the week, right? And everyone was like, uh uh-huh. He went in there, went tit for tat with Mason Jones, and just rolled that that young man and changed his career and changed <laughs> and changed Mason's career and changed his career forever. And I know Ludovic Klein very very well. He is going to be my pick for this fight because I believe in the striking. Tiago Moises is not going to have anything to offer Ludovic Klein. He won his last fight basically with calf kicks. A little switch stance here. The outside calf kick on Ludovic is going to be an inside calf kick that he can counter easily. I don't think that's going to be an issue here. The thing I worry about the most with Ludovic Klein, honestly, 
is the fact that he is evolving his game. Big word there. Hopefully he can keep up, Angelo. He is evolving his game. He has brought in the wrestling. He has brought in the grappling. And in this fight, I pray to God, right, our great God, Jesus Christ, that he does not use something funny about that. That's very interesting. Uh, you have to deal with a, that later. A shock nah. noise. No, nah. I mean, that little laugh is going to be on your little script later when you when you meet those gates and you have to explain yourself there. But, you know, Ludovic Klein, I, 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 I pray that he is not going to use his wrestling. He is not going to use his grappling. And if Tiago does shoot a takedown and gets on his ankles, gets on his legs, I hope that Ludovic Klein does not try to sweep, reverse these positions. Because in my opinion, Tiago's only path to victory in this fight is going to be to win a scramble, get the back, and put this guy in a bad position. And I don't want Ludovic messing around on the ground, Angelo. Do you agree or disagree? Agreed. Just stand yeah. up if you get taken down. Just stand up. Use your speed, right? Use your use all your, your tools in your tool bag, which I got a great... I mean, you should see the tools I have in my tool bag, Angelo. Those things are pristine. I clean those things every night. I've got the garage. I have a feeling you have not used your tool in. I will a go very out in the garage time. three or four hours at a time and just sit there and clean my wrenches, right? <laughs> polish those, those things. Yeah, I will polish that thing clean for a few yeah. hours. But you know, Ludovic should be able to do what he needs to do on the feet. I'm actually kind of surprised these odds are close because I think. I agree. You know, if this was a kickboxing match, Angela, which it could turn into, I mean, it's not Ludovic and a kickboxing, yeah. <laughs> and it should be a minus 350 probably against a guy like Tiago. That's no disrespect to Tiago. It's just Ludovic's just that kind of level in the kickboxing. So avoid the wrestling, avoid the grappling. You mentioned the judging, right? This is Midwest judging. I'll be honest, in the Midwest, we do love our wrestling a little bit, right? WCW, <laughs> WWF, right? That's a Connecticut. DDP, start. Boom! I'm going Ludovic Klein. <laughs> All right, well, Ludovic Klein, $8,400 in DraftKings. I got to look a little closer. I don't know how well he scores in DraftKings. Says he does typically work in a takedown or two. He is not going to do that in this fight, or he certainly shouldn't. There'd be no reason to do that. And DraftKings, unlike FanDuel and some others, doesn't score for defending takedowns. Ludovic Klein should win this fight. I have a bet on him to win this fight. I don't know why the odds haven't moved, but I guess we will see. If you do want to check out my bets on top of the one that I just gave you out of nowhere, Jacob's bets, Artem's picks and bets, the round line leans, the artificial intelligence for not only this card, but UFC Vegas 93 next week, UFC Saudi Arabia the week after that, and UFC 303 the week after that. All you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com, click become a member. It is only $10 for an entire month's worth of access. A couple of comments here. One. I'm going to screenshot this one. I'm not going to mention his name, but if you guys watched the Fight Foods vlog, you saw my buddy just showed up with a cowboy hat out of nowhere. Played some can jam, did all the things, wearing a cowboy hat. And James Kuyu said that Jacob looks like a knockoff version of your childhood friend, Jacob. So that's unfortunate for you. Then Gobbler, this is an interesting comment. Gobbler said Klein is going to be fraud checked here. I would like to talk about fraud check very quickly. If Ludovic Klein loses this fight, that is not a fraud check in my opinion. Ludovic Klein has beaten many people, has worked his way up, and if he loses as a minus 128, that's not a fraud check. This is a very close fight that he didn't win against a good veteran. That's not a fraud check. Vitor Petrino was a fraud check. A 6-1 to one favorite who got submitted in the first round, who had never fought anybody tough, had never really done anything real. Turns out that was a fraud check. This, Ludovic losing here is not a fraud check. I, I hate that the term fraud check has just become anybody who loses fraud check. I disagree with it. Get, get that shit off my screen. Who was your favorite wrestler back in the day, man? You didn't. I guarantee you didn't even watch that shit. Oh, I watched so wrestling. You, I watched wrestling. Okay, uh, go ahead. I started watching wrestling with uh, you know the Stone Cold, the Rock era, so a little later, and then now, the video like, games. That's when it's like that was the tail end of when you should have been watching it. We're talking I get about it. you didn't watch WCW. I did like Booker T. Big Booker T fan. What? What? 
I watched Bret Hart die. Saw that. Or Owen oh, Hart. Bret Hart, huh? Owen Hart. I, mean, I watched Owen Hart about, die. Man. I got right. We got right there. I watched Owen Hart die. I did love Chris fine. Benoit in the video game. Man, you're uh, you get dark here, man. <laughs> he was great in the video game. Don't about that, man. Those THQ wrestling video games on Nintendo 64 could quite literally have been the greatest. Can thing. you dig it, sucker? Those THQ video games on Nintendo 64, those red WCW games, could quite literally be the best sports video games on the planet. Those games were un believable every christmas a new one came out and every christmas my cousins and i would be <laughs> eating fish playing that shit it was so good someone said someone said their cat just jumped i mean what it was pussy. that was that was <laughs> that was very well. <laughs> all right moving on i mean you're the one like booker t man i thought you'd get excited about that i did not i never get excited when you scream that has never happened I do get excited about the $50 bonuses, though, Jacob. If you didn't know, anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets signs up with one of our sports books using our links. We send them 50 bucks as a thank you. Use the link. You sign up. You make a deposit. They pay us because it's affiliate marketing. Then we slice off some of that money and we give it right back to you as a thank you. And finally, before we move on to the main card, here's the P.O. box. I do have a package. Hold on one sec. This came, and I didn't put it into this Fight Foods vlog, but we will open it in the next Fight Foods vlog. And whoa, shout, this whoa. shout this company out and do all of those things. If you are a small business or just a fan or whatever it is, and you want to send us anything from a letter to a package to open, you can do so here. We want picks P.O. Box 406 in Prosper, Texas, 75078. Holy <laughs> shit, he showed up. That's crazy. That's your boy. You want to say hi to him? Oh, get him on a call-in show. That'd be awesome. Can you dig it, sucker? 